Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. And I haven't uploaded in a little while, and I gotta be honest, the Israel-Palestine conflict has just really bummed me out. Uh, I've seen a lot of content creators do videos on this that I don't feel like they're well-educated on the topic and probably have no business doing videos. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert at all, but I will say like this, that everybody loses. There, there's no winner on this, no matter what side you're on. And I just find the whole thing to be sad because I feel like there's no off-ramp and I feel like this is a bad thing to happen at this time with the conflict going on in Ukraine as well. Um, I still am thinking a little bit like, did if Iran had a hand in this, does that mean that Russia had a hand in this? Like, if you follow the weapons, did the weapons lead back to Russia? Maybe they sold them to him. Because Russia stands to gain the most from this, or possibly China. But I don't think the world really benefits from an unstable Middle East. And this thing could just easily blow up to a lot more countries being involved. And uh, can lead to more global conflict. And I'm also like, at what stage do you start calling something a world war? Like, how many major conflicts have to be happening on how many different continents? Like, if you look at World War II, for example, like, obviously the war started in Poland. But at what point did people say, okay, now we're in a world war? I'm not saying we're there yet, but now we got two major conflicts about to happen. And not to mention the propaganda is just on full display. And I say that as somebody that grew up in America during 9-11, that watched this country go to war with Iraq, that felt the anger after being attacked, that led to 1 million people being killed in Iraq, and led to people being killed in Afghanistan, and now the Taliban is still in charge of Afghanistan. So did we make any difference in Iraq and Afghanistan? That's where I'm coming from. You know, to me personally, I don't really think so. Uh, and is there going to be any progress between Israel and the Palestinians? Uh, obviously, Israel's upset. The attacks were brutal and horrible. That's just going to lead to more death and destruction for the Palestinians, right? Uh, because Israel is going to want to attack Hamas. 40% uh, of the population in Palestine is under the age of four 14 or under the age of 14, and it's one of the most densely populated areas. It is the most densely populated area in the world. So, you know, Israel is telling people in the north to like, they need to leave, they need to evacuate their homes, but it's like, where are they supposed to go? Like, they're kind of blockaded in, like nobody lets them in anywhere. And if they are let go, then you have a, a, a refugee uh, crisis, uh, which is also not good. And what's crazy to me is Israel is going to attack uh, Palestine, and okay, yeah, they have every right to defend themselves, which is going to lead to more pain and suffering in Palestine, which is going to lead more children to grow up and join Hamas that are going to then do more attacks to Israel. It's just like an ongoing cycle of sadness. And this is my point. No matter what side you're on, on this topic, doesn't change the fact that people are going to die. No matter how brutal the attacks were, by Hamas doesn't change the fact that a child dead in a bombing in Palestine isn't equally as brutal and sad, like, because they're both dead, right? That, that, that's it. So, um, yeah, this is a tough one. And then because it deals with groups of people, you know, because it deals with Arabs and Jews, you know, also the idea of and the dangers of hatred and, you know, racism as well. Like, there's no way this video is getting monetized, by the way. It's, it's also brutal. And th does attacking Palestine even change anything? Does it, does it fix things? I understand they have to defend themselves. And then if they do this going in, urban warfare combat into Gaza, uh, if the Israeli soldiers come in, which it looks like that's what they're planning on doing, it's just going to be a lot of destruction, guys. It's going to be a lot, uh, a lot of casualties. Uh, we're looking at probably a major refugee crisis again, like the third one to hit Europe and like, what 10 years which is insane you know uh that's not good for anybody and it's going to stretch resources thin which is not good for ukraine you know this could cause russia to maybe make some gains in ukraine and possibly it, it causes a situation where the united states has to decide like what to do so this is going to lead to more terrorism just globally uh i think it's going to hit europe again like it did previously when we had the you know isis uh, I think that there's going to be a lot of extremism again, and that's not good. So I feel like the whole world will be affected by this conflict. And as someone that's not super religious, you know, I feel like religion controlled humanity for so many years. And now we're reaching a point where it's not as important and science is taking over. We're still in this transitional phase where I feel like we're going to become something better than what we are now as humans. 
but there's going to be some challenging times till we get to that point. So to me, it's also sad that things that maybe I don't think should be as valued as much anymore are leading to a conflict. Of course, there's more to the conflict than just religion and uh, groups of people. Obviously, there's land involved too, people that used to live somewhere that were moved out. So you have that going on as well. So yeah, I don't think uh, there's any good that comes from this. But I'm hopeful that someday... Uh, it's possible for Israelis and Palestinians to live side by side, uh, to have the same equal rights and freedom to travel, and for the Israelis to have some type of form of uh, security. So, uh, yeah. So I guess my thought or my point energy I want to put out there is, again, not picking sides, but saying whatever side you pick, that's not good either. Even if your side's the right side and justify a side, it doesn't change the fact that everybody loses. So... How do we find a way uh, to stop this vicious cycle of death on both sides and hatred? Like, how do we stop that? Because uh, if we keep going down the route we're going, it's going to continue. And I, I just hope humanity can figure that part out. So sorry to be a little bit of a Debbie Downer, but uh, yeah, that's what I got. I'm sure these this is going to be a very heated comments, you know, in the comment section. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, it's for me, it's not picking sides. It's... Uh, acknowledging the fact that uh, everybody loses. All right, guys, see you in the next one.